Well, here we are. We're loaded. Uh, just got off work a little after six o'clock. We're going to uh, make our way to Mocaine Dragway in Asbury, Missouri. Uh, so I got like an hour and 45 minute drive to get there. So just checked everything. Trailer's good. Car's good. I'm good. I'm ready. I'm actually a little tired, but uh, either way, we're going to give it a shot and uh, do some testing and tuning. Hopefully we can get like four passes in uh, and it's not too busy, but um, either way, uh, the main thing is to test the car, make sure that nothing blows up, nothing falls apart, ain't, that we don't have any more leaks. That way, when it comes time to be more competitive and you know do the bracket series and, and things like that, um, we'll be ready. And that's what the whole testing and tuning is about. So either way, I'll check back with you. As you can see, um, I've made it to uh, Mocaine Dragway here in Asbury, Missouri. Uh, got the car, uh, fix and unload it. I've already filled out my uh, tech sheet. Um, obviously, I'm parked over here. Uh, this is, um, uh, what lane is this? This isn't one, two, three, and four. This is uh, like the tow lane or something. I can't, I can't think of it, but anyway, it's been a while since I've been here, so uh, either way, so uh, I'm gonna get it unloaded and uh, check the tire pressures, make sure all the fluids are good, and uh, then I'll, I'll make a pass and uh, come back and check it out and make sure that uh, nothing fell apart and there's no more leaks, that kind of thing. So either way, we made it, I made it. <laughs> all right, we just made our uh, first pass and my adrenaline is pumping because you can see that I'm shaking. Uh, right here, my reaction time was at 0 0.012 which uh, is damn good for me, especially, you know, uh, not racing last year and not being able to hit the track this year either. Um, 699 on the eighth, um, I'm, I'm usually faster than that. And um, then the quarter at, at 1094, I'm usually faster than that. I, I usually hit 130 and it's usually like a 103. So um, carburetor kind of spitted and sputtered a little bit. So um, we'll see if we can, um, see what we can do to adjust that if anything but uh maybe it's just needs the cobs blown out of it but either way i nailed that light like it was uh anyway uh, i'll get back with you. all right so basically we're going to um check to see if we have any oil leaks um or any fuel leaks and then i'm going to get up underneath there and check to see if there's any transmission leaks um forgot my flashlight so this phone is going to be pretty handy i know that looks wet down there but that's just residual from previous but fuel pump looks good um, nothing back here nothing on the valve covers in the area there's a little bit right there coming out of that bolt but that's that's no big deal so no leaks out of the carburetor that's good see I got my double clamps on my hoses there any oh look at there we do have a coolant leak um let's see can't determine where that's coming from exactly there's some coolant right there it might be coming out of that um temperature gauge fitting right there might need some more teflon um that looks like a pretty serious drip it does see that down there mm. anyways yeah they got some 
water dripping from somewhere on this dude. Kind of looks like the water pump, maybe. Um, which is which is good. I mean, I'm glad I popped the hood and checked everything out. Um, the uh, remote oil filter uh, looks good. Check this side right here. I don't see any oil on this side. Uh, carburetor looks good. So. See if we can get up underneath here. Alright. So okay. Well that looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see any red transmission fluid. So we'll go to the other side here and have a look. But I think that uh, we're definitely done for the day. Uh, until I can get that uh, water leak fixed because that is that's kind of dangerous obviously uh, let's check this other side here okay. all right, even this side looks good so all in all uh, yeah, you can I'm trying to pick up that water leak it's still dripping so so we're definitely going to load her up and then we're going to uh, uh, hang out at the track for a little bit and take some footage of some badass plates. All right, back and away, Randy Ashley from the Bay of Missouri, 78. Grand Prix has a 462 Pontiac in it. Chevrolet. Still got a set of Fort Scott, Kansas 1970 Nova. Redemption Motorsports side. 